Hello and welcome to Fallen One Manager 2022 and it's season two and all changing. We have got new head of aerodynamic, little Rosie here. So our, our, our old head of dynamics retired. Selfish bastards, some people, it's all me, 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 isn't it? God dear. So he retired, but I picked her up because she was cheap. <laughs> Basically, so yeah. We've got new head of aerodynamics, lovely. Uh, Mick Schumacher, we've replaced Charles Leclerc with Mick Schumacher. It is a bold move, but I wanted to bring the Schumacher family back in together. It turned out that Mick was actually fired from Haas last season. This game is kind of weird. It's like really does simulate real life. So Mick lost his Haas seat as he did in real life, but we picked him up as our number one driver. <laughs> he's, he's uh, yeah, he's quite, his rating is quite a bit lower than that of Leclerc. Oh dear, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Leclerc was rated 89, Mick is currently 77. We've maxed out our uh, uh, racing, uh, racing sim facilities, so that's ma the maximum. So hopefully we can get him into semi-decent shape pretty fast, or we're gonna get fired so fast. But that's not all. We've replaced Carlos Science with David Schumacher, son of Ralph Schumacher. <laughs> he, was, he was actually a free agent, so I think he lost his F3 seat. He's only 21 years old, which is old enough. Uh, God, he's rated 49. He's rated 49. Carlos was rated 88, a proven race winner. David Schumacher should not be in Formula One. We are gonna get so fired for doing this. It's cost us a pretty penny to buy out Leclerc's and Carlos's contracts. So we did go into the red during one month briefly. Only about a million pounds, a million dollars, what's that? Jeez. That's gonna come up. That might cost us a. S we might get fired over that. But we did win the championships last season, both the drivers and constructors championships. So that's gotta go. Give us a little bit of leeway. I mean, it's not a do what you want check they give it the Ferrari can give us. But still, so David Schumacher in number two driver seat. I tried to hire Enzo Trulli, but he wasn't 18 yet. Because I wanted an Italian somewhere in Ferrari driving lineup. But sadly, he was too young. Reserve drivers don't mean anything anyway, so you could have, you could have hired anybody. Jesus. So in the end, we went for Enzo Fittipaldi. So it's the Fittipaldi name I wanted. He's Brazilian, of course. But yeah, Fittipaldi is a reserve driver. Fittipaldi's rate is 64 compared to David's 49. <laughs> Our reserve driver is so much better than... I'm number two driver. Oh god, this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, Jovanazzi contracts expired at the end of the season, that's why we got a new reserve driver. Jovanazzi was on about uh, one and a half million dollars the year, so we just picked this guy up for next to nothing. Uh, yeah, so we hired him. New driver lineup for the entire grid. Because what we've done with Ferrari is shaking everything up completely. Uh, Max, and, Max and Sergio Perez are still with Red Bull. They picked up Sebastian Buemi as a reserve driver. Doesn't matter. Uh, nothing mainly much changed at Mercedes. Uh, their reserve driver is Nick de Vries. Fair enough. Alpine has picked up Leclerc. And they've got Espen Ocon as an number two driver. Ruvula, a number uh, former F2 driver, pretty good guy, pretty good driver as a reserve driver. Uh, what have we got next? Alfa Romeo picked up Carlos Sainz. Nice that they found both my old drivers uh, found a home. I missed them. Robert Kubica is a reserve driver for Alfa Romeo. Bottas is still there. Alfa Turi still got Gasly. They picked up the uh, Vettel as a number two driver. And Oscar. Piastri as a reserve driver. Vettel's with Alfa Turi. This is a real shocker. Uh, Haas picked up Lance Stroll. You should see what happened to Aston Martin in a minute. So Haas has got Lance Stroll, and the other Fittipaldi boy is their reserve driver. 
Kevin Magnussen is still with them. McLaren, uh, Ricardo and Norris still there. They picked up Giovinazzi as the reserve driver. Now, Aston Martin, Alex Albon, and the number one driver. Number two driver is Fernando Alonso. This actually, I didn't realise this until I was halfway through free practice that Alonso is actually at Aston Martin. Because I thought he was already there because we're like coming out to the new season in real Formula One. It's just like, wow, Aston Martin picked up Alonso in this game. So, wow. Anyway, Nico Hulkenberg, reserve driver. Williams picked up Guanyu Zhou. And the names are still the wrong way around. Wild Island to Frontier for that. And Yuki Tsunoda. They picked up Yuki Tsunoda. And Jake Doohan as their reserve driver. Jake Doohan's a pretty good driver. So that's good. Uh, we've got new car liveries. A few new, few cars got new car liveries. We picked up the uh, 75 year anniversary livery from the 2022 season because it's so beautiful. So I thought, yeah, we're going to run that this season because it's just so beautiful. Uh, McLaren have picked up their uh, golf livery, the special one from Monaco, I think they ran it at. So they're going to run it this season because it's beautiful as well. And Mercedes reverted back to their black Mercedes because I liked it. <laughs> Basically, it looks so beautiful. And last but not least, Red Bull have gone with their special white livery. Very white, blinding light. White. I think we, we'll, we'll try to keep this for the rest of the season and next season if we're not fired, of course. We'll revert back to the normal Red Bull. And we'll see what else, other mods are out there. And um, regulation changes. This is what the regulation changes were. Uh, this is going to affect us now because we're not going to be... I don't think we're going get, to get into the top four. So our take home salary is going to go down airflow was affected if the rule changes i knew about this and that's why i was working on my car so we i think we got a decent car we just don't have the drivers okay let's get into a qualifying rundown okay at the end of qualifying one uh david schumacher didn't make the grade by any stretch of the imagination he is, well, he's out of his depth and he's just trying to keep it on the road. Ricardo got knocked out. Surprise. Alex Albon in the uh, Aston Martin got knocked out as well. The Williams cars look like they're really struggling. Mick Schumacher came in 13th just, so he is also struggling. It's qualifying two, Mick Schumacher just made the cut. We were using our luck a bit we were running on the second run we ran sent him out on soft used tires we we were that's a big gamble we was hoping for better in q3 but q2 he just made it through by the skin of his teeth literally that was close that was close the red bulls are actually absolutely rocking it and mercedes look like they're up there as well but not quite Q3, Mick Schumacher, two runs on, two sets of new softs. Uh, yeah, what can I say? He is not that far off, but he needs to be, he needs training up, experience ASAP, or we're all going to get fired. It looks like it's going to be Max and Sergio going head to head with the McLaren, uh, with the Mercedes trading behind George is struggling a bit for some reason Charles is still doing well in number f came in qualified number five I miss him already <laughs> I miss my boys Alfa Romeo doing pretty good they got uh, seven and eight Bottas out qualified Carlos very interesting but not that much between them okay let's get on to the race let's go Tension continues to build here as race day begins. You can't fault Ferrari's work during qualifying here. They've given themselves some serious momentum for the race ahead. It was a pleasure to watch Red Bull's excellent performance during qualifying. Their drivers will now be looking ahead to the race itself and hoping to capitalize. Right, tactics, what are we gonna do? David burns up his tires pretty fast. 
Okay, let's look at Mick. There's, there's no rain because it's bar rain. Uh, Suffs, medium suffs. Okay, we're going to go with that. According to this, I don't think we've got the tyres. We might have to do a new strategy. Mediums. To... About there. Can we go to hards? Will hards take us to the end of the race? No, they won't. So we could do this. No, we do it the other way around. We go to softs. To... About there. We go to... Maybe softs? Hard softs? Not great, but... In terms of tyre wear... We can change it on the fly as we go. we got options here, haven't we? Okay. We'll set that up. Now you, we're going to have to do something special here. Mediums, two hards. Two softs at the end, maybe. This guy, sadly, is not smooth on his tyres. So, yeah, he could be in trouble. At the end of the day, this guy's just going to be, like, out there just to get experience. That's all it's going to be, basically, for him. Oh, God. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to... Pace mode. Okay, we're going to go hard out the box just to get some kind of race position because he's starting 10th. We want to get him up a bit so he's in the DOS employment, deployment. Oh god, what are we going to do to this guy? Uh, we can't push the tyres because we know he burns up the tyres. This is what I've seen from practice. So it's not good. We push the fuel and the EOS just for one lap. Same with Mick, and then settle them back into the race and then just see where it goes from there. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get fired. There's a very overcast night in store for the drivers who are now lined up on the grid. It's Bahrain. Mick Schumacher there. A top 10 position today. But will they be able to capitalise on it? Probably not. There's the other Ferrari. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. They've both got the same helmets. We're just moments away now. That's the thing in this game at the moment, the default helmets. When the driver moves, they get the default helmets. And they've got the same, the same default helmet. Sucks. I hope they fix that soon. And it's lights out, and away we go! How's he doing? We might just watch the front of the grid. Hamilton has got up to second place. Uh, yeah. Perez has had a bad start. Are they going to come together? David Schumacher is at the back of the grid. Okay. Mick is still holding on to 10th place and he's in the fight. Well, okay. Sainz and Ocon are fighting at the front. That might actually help Mick to stay within DRS. I'm going to pull the fuel back on David and go neutral. And uh, big lift off. Okay. We're going to go balanced and neutral on Schumacher as well. And we'll need uh, lift off. Okay. He's got the ninth place at the moment. And he's up on the tyres as well. We should slow down. Copy. Got a nice overtake there. We won't watch the replay because that's on the screen at that time. Okay. Mick, it's up to ninth place. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that after last season. I 
this was Leclerc and Charles, we'll be doing a nut. I think we've got a race winning car. I, I'm happy in the confidence in the car. Schumacher, David, is up to 19th now. We missed that. Do we get a replay of that? I don't know. Okay. Mix falling back from Carlos. So Carlos also gets the... I think he goes back to a default helmet. Cars look nice though, don't they? Cars look really nice. Hamilton is half a second away from Max. Perez is bearing down on him. Is this gonna, it's got the fastest lap Hamilton has. I'm just wondering this is gonna be a, uh, a Red Bull wipeout. Perez is pushing him pretty hard. But we're still on lap two, I only just started. David Schumacher is, yeah. He's on the mediums. Everybody else is on softs, I believe. So actually, kept the kind of think about it, that's pretty respectable. Consider it. Everybody else is on softs. He's on the mediums going completely different strategy. So second away from Zhao. Joe, sorry. Call him Zal. Okay, Mickey boy is still within DOS range, which should become active as I go over the line now. Hamilton's out of DOS. He has slipped back. DRS enabled, DRS enabled. Oh. Hamilton is just trying to hang on to DOS by the fingernails. He is really. What the hell's Russell doing? He soon came off the racing line there just to make a feint. I don't know who he's going after. Now everybody's still tightly bunched. Lando Noyce in his new McLaren livery. Looks so nice, looks so nice, look at that car. First of we update, we updated. Yeah, it was pretty much just Red Bull, Mercedes, and McLaren and Ferrari, of course. Alonso down in 15th place. Oh dear. Oh. That is bad for him. We have got a gap between Russell and the clerk. Clerk is doing pretty well considering what he's driving. No, actually, it's Russell's dropping back from Perez. What's going on with Russell? Let's do an onboard with Mick, shall we? Let's do a whole lap on board. Here we go.
And there's an overtake from Williams. Yeah, okay, that's a full lap done. A complete onboard lap was requested a few times last season, so I apologise for dropping the ball on that one. But we're doing it this season. At least a quiet part during the race, we'll do a full on board just to see what the track's like. So David lost out to Sonoda. Bless him, little cotton sucks. Look at this guy. Oh. He's doing alright, he hasn't crashed yet. I'm very impressed with this guy, he hasn't crashed. Hamilton is right up with Max, he's going for the lead. Russell's still two seconds behind Perez, I don't know what's going on there. Yes, Red Bulls are absolutely on it, they have built a wonderful car. We've got a good car, I know that. We just don't have the drivers at the moment. What can Hamilton do here? He's in a Red Bull sandwich. He has got DRS, but then again, Perez has got DRS on him as well. David's tyres are getting warm. He's not pushing the tyres, he's just going to have to. Sort that out himself. Yeah. Projection. He's right on the money for projections. Hamilton is actually going for it. Come on, cause a crash. Get a safety car out. Come on, my son. Can he cool? Take the corner. Yes, he can. Somebody else locked up. Don't know who that was. Sector one, yellow car, uh, yellow flag. Somebody ran wide. Okay. Ah, it's Magnussen. We can take a look now. All eyes on Kevin Magnussen here. It's a lockup, and that could be costly. It's a knockout. That was a bad lockup. Yuck. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Oh no, it sucks, doesn't it, for them? <laughs> Okay, Hamilton's doing all right out front. The clerk, our old driver, who we miss. I was gonna keep the clerk as number one driver and sign his brother, Arthur, from Formula Two as number two driver. But I was also looking at Mick Schumacher anyway for the following season, but then someone suggested that I should hire David Schumacher as well, Ralph Schumacher's brother, uh, son. And I thought, ooh, that sounds good. And now, there he is. So if I get fired for this, we know who to blame. What the hell is Russell doing? Lap seven, and he is struggling. I don't know what's going on. Three seconds off the pace now. He's on the same tyres. Is it different strategy? I don't know. We can't see what fuel load he's running or what pace he's running. But I don't know. Schneider is also struggling. Both the Red Bulls are struggling. This is Joe. He's four seconds behind Ricardo. Maybe he's doing all right. Sonoda is really struggling oh, in that Williams. Ferrari just gained a place. And they're Let's seriously see struggling. What happened there. Okay, here's the Ferrari. DOS pass. He's doing all right, isn't he? And hopefully we can get more and more experience. So we can get. Goodness me. There they go. Moving ahead of the other driver. Back in the garage, the team absolutely loved it. <laughs> 19th place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he's going to get him back now. Oh, these guys are going to be fine all day long, aren't they? Yes, yeah, DOS is killing him. Okay. 
that. He's on a better stretch. Mix, uh, David's on a better strategy. And a new position just yeah. gained by Williams. I know, it sucks. These guys are in a, mixing a DOS train. Hanging on to the back of Carlos. I miss my other drivers. I think if we can get Mick trained up super fast throughout the season, we could get up there before we get fired. I'm talking about being fired, I'm, I'm so tempted to. Do. If this was real life, I would fire David and hire Alonso. But no, we could, we're doing this Schumacher challenge. That's what I'm going to call it from now on Schumacher challenge. Yeah, these guys are DOS neutralized, aren't they? Hamilton is. Max has got past Hamilton under DRS. I believe these guys are going to take each other out. And there's an overtake from Williams. Yeah, we're not. We're not these are. Sonoda and David are going to be interchanging due to DRS passing. I'm expecting them to be lapped at least once. Tactically speaking, I don't know what we can do. I can't do that much. I don't think David he just doesn't have the talent yet. He might do. Hamilton is holding off. No, he's not. Max has got past Tim. How has he? Yeah, I think he's got the inside line going into this corner now. So yeah, he should be able to force Hamilton wide. Take the corner, but they got DOS. I might be able to do. Uh, what? Okay, copy. Oh my god. I was just about to say, I might be able to do something with Mick. Oh, big lock up there. Here's the replay. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Well, they've locked up. They won't have been happy about that. He's got a lot of sand in his car now. Let's clean it out. And that was a bitter <sighs> blow for the team, and it may have really hurt their overall chances. It may have hurt my overall chances of being remain employed with Ferrari. Um, okay, we've got a little bit of fuel on board. How are we doing tire-wise? Tires are protecting good. Let's push the tires. We we'll use a little bit of fuel. So we need to push. Oh god, this is this is this is oof. Oh, this is gonna be painful. I don't think no, we, we can't push the tires because the tires aren't gonna last that long. We should slow down. Okay, copy. A little bit of fuel on board both cars. I might push David's fuel for a little bit. Hope he doesn't crash. <laughs> We've got lots of DOS on board, but I don't know what to do with that. We're going to pay the long game. Oh my god, we're 5.6 seconds behind McLaren. We're under pressure from Haas. We lost the position to Haas, I think. I know, so it's painful. We might actually get fired after the first race. I don't, but... Okay, Mick should get her DOS down the main straight. Let's deploy. Go get him, boy. So, deployed, deployed. You've got the car. Copy. You've got a race winning car, I'm bad, damn sure about that. Some lift and code 
good job. Not really, no. Ferrari, advance the race position. Wow, we've got 12th place back. Leclerc has got ahead of Russell in an Alpine. Alpine. Briefly. But yeah, Russell is seriously struggling in that car. I don't know what's going on with him. He is now pretty much four seconds behind Perez. Wow. What? A new race position for Haas. Let's what have happened? a look. Now just focus on the Haas. Mick is not having a good time out there, is he? He's lucky to be in Formula One. That's that's. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's get a reality check here. Mick was unemployed. Good job. Davey's doing all right, considering. But Mick got fired from Haas. So he's got nothing to complain oh, about. And Ferrari just gained a place. Let's have a look at this. Let's, take a closer look. Let's cheer ourselves up for okay, briefly. He's doing all right, isn't he? He hasn't crashed the car yet. <laughs> yeah. Famous last word, I know. Take advantage and muscle their way through. Excellent work. Excellent work. I think it's yeah. safe to say that went down well with the team. <laughs> like ice cream on a hot day. Okay. Back with Mick. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can do anything more tactically at the moment. We've still got a long game. Okay, we're in our... Come up for our pit stop window. What can we do tactically? We, we're stuck here. In DRS zone. But these guys with the hash, I don't think we can get away from them. <sighs> David's lost the position again. And it's gonna be going on all day long. And a new position. This is what's by Williams. This the clerk's now ahead of Russell. Legit on track. So he's got the default helmet. I've got another mod in place that puts some sponsorships on the default helmets to make them look a little bit nicer. So can we see that? Can't really see on this helmet, but yeah. Makes them look a little bit nicer. I also put in a mod, a graphical enhancement mod to makes it look a whole lot better. But the frame rate dropped so much that I had to take the mod out again. So that's a shame. Hopefully Formula 1 manager 2023 be a lot better visual wise, but this all looks quite nice considering. Apart from the driver helmets defaulting, which is why they went with that, I do not know. But Russell here is holding everybody up. And Mick would have Mick would have been in that DOS train if he didn't drop the ball. We're in the pit window. We're going to go as long as we can. It's only going to be a couple more laps though. Dave is doing all right. Good job. <laughs> oh, bless him, he's still, he's still trundling around at the back now. Ferrari, advance the race position. Yeah, that's a DOS pass, nothing special, and he's gonna he's gonna lose that to Sonoda. Sonoda is he must be in his pit window now. David's gonna go a long way. We're not gonna pick up any points, I don't think, from either our drivers today. So you you you, you can see oh, there is sponsorship. You could see sponsorship on the helmet when you got a closer view. It's a nice mod, but I wish they put the driver helmets back in. Cause even like, where's Vettel? So Vettel, yeah, Vettel gets a default helmet. Everyone gets default helmets. It sucks. Where's Alonso? Is Alonso? 
I mean, why did Frontier do that? I've been pushing too much fuel on David's car, just noticed that. But look at that, default helmets for both drivers. Yeah, that's the problem because like both the Aston Martin drivers now have the same default helmet. Same with us, same with Ferrari. We've both got the same default helmets on both the Ferraris. Which makes it a bit confusing. And the fact that they're both called Schumacher makes it a bit confusing. <laughs> We're doing alright, we haven't we haven't made any mistakes at the moment. Getting mixed up yet. It's bound to happen though. I did that a couple of last times last season with um, Leclerc and Carlos got mixed up. I'm looking at one car, I'm thinking I'm looking at one car. But it turns out I'm looking at a different driver. So, yeah. Alright, David is borderline fuel. You're doing a mega job. Yeah, you haven't crashed it yet, so I'm quite happy with you. <laughs> I got to pit in a minute. I'm gonna have to pit. What is our strategy? So we we're going on to the hard tires, go as long as possible in the middle section. We'll stretch it as far as we can in the first section. Get as much life out of the tyres. Both the softs for the first section and the second section on the hards. Stretch them as much as possible and hopefully push. The is long, and not anyway. Push the soft tyres. And a new position just gained at the end of the Williams. race. Yeah. If we have fresh soft tyres at the end of the race. We might be our uh, might be do might be do something with Mick, maybe get a couple of points. Maybe. Don't know. Uh, Hamilton's doing alright. And you are doing a really good job. Uh no it's not, it's just dropped it. He, he, he got twelfth place and he dropped back down to thirteenth place, Mick has. Yeah. I think Hamilton is out driving that McLaren. I don't think McLaren have got the car. Let's take a look at the replay. All eyes on Kevin Mercedes, sorry. Yeah, it's the DRS. We're not going to be able to get away from them under DRS. I don't know why anybody else. And muscle their way through. Excellent work. Yeah, well done. Oh. And the team had such high. Yeah, don't worry about that. Why hasn't anybody else pitted yet? Yeah, McLaren, I don't think they've built a decent car, but I think Lewis is out driving it. I'm assuming that's what's going on because Russell is 5.3 seconds down behind this battle and holding everybody up. Look, Russell is. Look at this guy. This is George Russell is holding everybody up. Massive DRS train here. I don't think there's anything I could do to take advantage of this. Mix so far back. Oh, the Stappen's in. Somebody blinked. They're blinking. They're going on to hearts. Oh, interesting. That's Ooh, sector three yellow. Is this a uh, replay? Let's see what happened there. Alonso. Now watch this. Here's Alonso. Oh no, they're fighting. It's Albon and Alonso. They lose it there. That's the spin. Oh dear. Okay. Stappen is out ahead of Alonso. And Alonso's... That spin didn't help us at all. We're, we're now in 12th place because Verstappen pitted. Hamilton and Perez are fighting. Good on them. The clerk is still. <laughs> he's got a hit of Russell. It's not the car, it's the driver. That pretty much. Where's Ocon? He's down in eighth place. Yeah. Uh, 
I wanted to do a Schumacher challenge with Ferrari, so I am sad to see Leclerc not in a Ferrari. That breaks my heart. And Carlos not in a Ferrari, of course, that breaks my heart as well. But it is what it is. Man, if Leclerc was in the Ferrari, he'd be Mars ahead. Okay, we've just gone yellow. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pit. We're gonna, something's happened on track, so we're gonna pit. And we pit. Okay, copy. Well, we can take a look now. Vettel's locked up. Taking a look again. It involves Sebastian Vettel, and yes, that's the lockup. It's painful. Okay, everybody's in the pits now. The team are devastated. Oh, They'll be no. questioning just what happened out there. Well, he went off. Okay, I need to pit my car. We're going on to. Was it hards? Yeah, it was hard, wasn't it? Okay, it's going on to hards. We got hards. We've got. Mediums, uh, we haven't got any fresh softs. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, the clerk's in, everybody's in, everybody is in, Perez is in. And that's the lock up! Albon's here's locked the replay. up. Now watch this. Here's the moments involving Albon. Oh, and there's the lock up. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. Aston Martin drivers are really struggling, aren't they? Where's Perez gonna come out? Perez comes out just behind Max. Okay. People are locking up now. I think they're pushing their tyres really hard. So are we, actually. Mix should be coming in. Everybody's pitting now. That's brought David Schumacher up to 15th place. So that's good for him. Pitted. Yeah, Snowdon's in the pits. Everybody pushed their tyres to the absolute maximum, didn't they? We still got DRS in the Magnuson for Magnuson. I'm assuming Magnuson's going to pit as well. Our tyres are really on the ragged edge. I told him to come in. I'm um, hopefully Mick is actually going to come in. A bit woke now. Hamilton must be coming in. Hamilton. Hamilton's going for another lap. Is it just his driving style and the fact that they've built a maybe it's the Mercedes? It's just easy on its tyres. Pit lane. Pit lane. Yeah, copy. Fingers crossed for a good pit stop. Seems right. 2.9 could have been a lot better, but uh, not too bad. It's going to be close with David. It's going to be behind David Schumacher. There it goes. You're trying everything. Okay, David is with everybody, with Vettel. Vettel is Alpha Tower pitted. The place. Let's take a closer look. Taking a look okay. again. It involves Sebastian Vettel. The battle's on the fresh hard tyres, I assume. I'm pretty sure what's going on. Goodness me! There they go! Moving ahead of the other driver. Very nice. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Not really. We know we're not going to get anything. So what is the tyre situation? Yeah, Vettel's on fresh. Joe hasn't pitted yet. Neves, Ricardo, Albon, Magnussen. Magnussen went through. Hamilton's still going. Ocon's still going. I'm assuming these guys are going to... Ricardo and Albon's tyres are looking pretty good, actually. We are down in 17th place with Mick. David's 35 seconds off the lead. Doesn't sound too bad, actually, after 18 laps. <laughs> Ocon's in the pits. 
Magnuson's in the pits. We were fighting with Magnuson, weren't we? So, hopefully we can leapfrog him. Coming down the back straight. Ricardo's in the pit. I think everybody's in the pits apart from Hamilton. Okay, we're on the straight now. And they're going on to mediums. They've got, a, they've got the faster tyres. This is going to be close. No, I think we've got them actually. Okay. Nice gap. Out of DOS range, so maybe. No, it's not. It's in DOS range. Shit. Okay, David's up to 11th place. Huh. Only due to pit stop, but come on. Hamilton is still on his sauce, I think. Jesus, his tyres must be done. 28%, yeah, he needs to pit. He's got 17.6 seconds over Verstappen. I don't think that's enough. I don't think Hamilton is gonna get. What he's after. Here he comes. I wonder if Sh David Schumacher has a um, new set of soft tyres. I, th I hope he does. He might be able to do something. Okay, Hamilton's gone on to mediums. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Stacking's down the straight. Yeah, I think both the Red Bulls might get him. It's going to be very close with Perez. No, it's not going to be close at all, is it? <laughs> Hamilton, uh, like real life, has gone too long on his tyres. That has hurt him badly. That's the thing about Hamilton. A lot of his... A lot, throughout his career, he's also, he always had these moments where he's driving fantastically, but his tactical situation, tactical awareness has been pretty bad. I don't think it's tactical awareness from him. I think it's his team. Just moved up a place. Oh, Let's no. take a look at the replay. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. That's on David. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I think Hamilton's always been sub. Oh, is that Mick behind? Oh shit, him. Hang on, hang on, I need to... Oh shit, David, can I tell you to... Uh, don't fight your teammate. Hello, boy. There you go. So I didn't spot that. David is holding up Mick. But um, he managed to get Mick past without... Losing position to Magnuson. This is actually helping us. Actually, that's helping us. Can we get away? Push. I don't want to push the tyres because we want decent tyres at the end of the race. Can we use David to hold up the, the Hasses? This is teamwork. This might actually help. Come on, my son. Come on, my son. I'm gonna run these medium tires on David right to the carcass. Take him down, down to about 28%. Ah, uh, oh. Celebi. Yeah, no worries. No worries. He, he did a good job. We've got two seconds to. Nick. With an overtake. Okay. How's Mick doing? Mick is on to Bottas. This is good. He's on the hard tyres. I'm not going to push the tyres. I don't want to push the tyres. This is going to come down to the end of the race with the tyres because he hasn't got a fresh set of soft tyres at the end. It's a used set. So hopefully, he can use up a bit of fuel here. David did help us out quite a bit there. Although we did lose a bit of time because I didn't spot the fact that he was holding up Mick. <laughs> My bad. 
talk about <laughs> we talk about Lewis Hamilton and, and his and his tactical awareness, and not and his, me just being oblivious. <laughs> Come on, Mick, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, my son. It's gonna get DOS and Bottas, but Bottas has got DOS and Vettel. And Vettel is holding up these guys. We can't afford to deploy anymore. We need to ease up on deployment. Oh, ignore that, go wait. Get in there, get in there. Oh, that looks nasty. That's nasty driving, that is. Bottas is 3.7 seconds behind Lando, Norris. He's holding us up. And that's allowed Magnussen to get onto the back of us. Ugh. Uh, oh well, Celebi, it is what it is. I think they're stuck here. The Mick is getting a bit. Mick's dropping back a bit, isn't he? Ooh, ooh. He's on the hard tyres, so yeah, he, has to, he doesn't have the pace on the tyres. Uh, and we can't keep pushing the fuel like this much longer. I think about the end of the race. Uh, can he do anything here? Oh, DOS neutralised. Okay, they're fighting up front. They're fighting up front. It's Bottas and Verstappen are fighting. Got to ease up on the fuel, so. So, Mickey Boy, you're on your own. Lift off, need it. Copy. It's the end of the race we're looking at. David's still in 16th place, which is pretty good, but then again, he hasn't pitted. So, when he pits. <laughs> Never mind. Just make the most of being at the 16th place. <laughs> Vettel is not enjoying that Alfa Tauri at Torsi. He's back with Torosso now. Yeah. Like all those years ago. Back where you started, mate. Look. His first drive was with... with was with BMW in uh, America, wasn't it? All those years ago. Mick might get him on straight. Yeah, he's still got DOS. Red Bulls are absolutely rocking it out front. Hamilton's in third position. Under no stress at all. He's got the fastest lap still. Well done. Russell is down in 8th place. 1.5 seconds behind Ocon. 1.6 seconds. I don't know what's happening with Russell. Russell might get fired. I think I'm going to get fired before Russell gets fired. <laughs> David is going very long with these tyres. Fuck can we go? We might be able to do it. Aston Martin with a great play there. Oh, they no. moved up a place. Let's see what happened there. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. Yeah. But, um, 
I wonder if David might be able to go for one stop. It's asking a lot. Even if we can go for one stop, we're still looking at the high teens anyway, so. I'm just thinking, even if there's a safety car, what's the situation? I don't think, can we actually do anything? Vettel, right under the tailpipe of Bodas. Mick has dropped back a bit. He's trying to hang on. At the end of the day, I was going to say that he's doing all right, but Vettel's on the hard tyres as well as Mick's on the hard tyres. Bottas is on the high tires as well. This is down to the driver, isn't it? The mix's just not there, is he? Hopefully, he's going to improve massively throughout the season. Hamilton, he's actually putting on a spurt now. Hamilton is almost in, he is in D.O. He's flittering in the DOS zone, almost there, he's almost there. Where is he on track? Uh, okay. He really needs to push on. He's just outside. Did he get DOS? I don't know. Is it ti the timings, do they... Oh, he did. Yeah, okay. The time is supposed to be real time, but there is a slight delay, so you're not sure. If he actually got the arrest, then he did. He's 11 seconds, 11 and a half seconds ahead of Gasly, so he doesn't have to worry about what's behind him. I think he's going to get Paris. But this is... Mediums against hard tyres. This is going to hurt him later in the race. because he's, he's got to have to pit again, isn't he? He can't one stop on those. Nah. Somewhere else locked up. Not seeing anything on like track. Oh, it's Vettel. Let's have a look. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes, and they've locked up. Did he get in the way of us? Oh, shit. And that. Go wait, we want to see what's happening. Hang a minute. Let's grab Vettel. Where is he? He held everybody up. Race is lost. I don't know. Anyway. David's lost his position. To Albon. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. <laughs> Here's the replay. This is now watch this. Here's the moments involving Albon. I mean, one sort of strategy is nice to be able to do it in these circumstances to say, yeah, we can actually do it. But it's not actually going to help. <laughs> it's not actually going to help us one little bit. Okay. Hamilton is ahead of this uh, Perez. He's trying to push on, but I don't think he could break DOS from Perez. We're going to have to look at... Schumacher's tyres. Yeah, Schumacher is struggling for grip. We'll bring, we'll bring him in. He's going to go onto the hards. He's got a fresh set of softs, for, or two fresh set of softs at the end of the race. Okay, we we'll go to hards. He's on mediums, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay, let's get him in. Let's get him in. Perez is still behind Hamilton, so we didn't miss anything there. David is going to get... Is he going to come out in front of the leaders? He might... He might avoid getting lapped. This is sad, isn't it? Are we going to get lapped? I think he will get lapped anyway. 
just a case of when. Nicely done, nicely done. 2.8. Not bad, not bad, not bad. He's a long way off from being lapped at the moment. Okay. What's this situation tactically? Can he go to the end? He did pretty well on those mediums. He got to lap 26. Now he's on the hard. I think he might be able to go to the end of the race. Okay, Perez is trying to chase down Hamilton. Ooh, Red Bull sounds a bit. Red Bull sounds weird. That sounds better. Ooh, it doesn't sound too good. That sounds better for Verstappen. It must be a bug. Okay, we might go on board with Perez again. A bug in Formula One Manager 2022? Surely not. Yes. Well, I haven't come across any game breaking bugs, really. So I can't really complain that. From that point of view. Leclerc is 13 seconds adrift of Perez. Leclerc is in fourth place. Yeah. I mean, firing Leclerc and Carlos wasn't a judgment call. That was just something because I wanted to do a Schumacher challenge. So I didn't make a mistake. I knew damn well I was taking a massive hit performance wise from the drivers. Hamilton is under two seconds to max. It might be it's somebody spun. Sector one. Was that Mick? Uh, David. Someone spun out. Oh, let's Joe. take a closer look. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Don't pull and on yes, the handbrake that's like that. Where they spin Jeez. Out. He's still quite a far ahead of David at the back here. He might, if he's very lucky, David might be able to, if we could do a one stop run, we might be able to get 17th place. <laughs> That's tragic. Where's Mick? Mick's in 12th. I thought Bottas was going to go in the back of him. Vettel is still struggling with Bottas. Actually, it's Carlos. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Magneton is... Right behind Mick still. Okay. Lap 28. Oh, 57. We're getting there. It's a big question of, can I train up Mick to be in... A position to be able to win a race sometime this season before I get fired. Can that actually happen? Um, hopefully we can train David Schumacher up to be in a position to get some points for the team at some point, but at the moment it's not looking good. Fuel. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. I want to save the tires to the end of the race. So I don't want to push the tires just yet. David's got a uh, half a kilo of fuel spare. So come the end of the race, we're doing a one-stop challenge. If we could get away with one sort of challenge, we'll use the fuel at the end of the race anyway. Yeah. I was saving that for the fresh set of softs. But yeah, softs, but. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
can Mickey Boy do here? Somnia's locked up. Sector 1. It's always Sector 1, isn't it? What's going on in Sector 1? I think there's been a lockup. Oh, God. Uh, Let's take a look at the replay. No. Now, look at this. Daniel Ricardo involved here. Well, oh, they've lost it. Yeah. They've locked up. It must be wind at that section of track. track. Well, the team are really disappointed with that. Let's are they? Where was he? 15th place, yeah. Magnuson is not going to let us go, is he? They're stuck here, aren't we? Copy. Let's see what happened there. Okay, here's the Ferrari. They've gone wide. They won't be happy about that. They've locked up and gone straight on. Oh my God. Mick, Mick, Mick. Is that a new race position for Haas? Oh. We well, got the overtake done because he locked up and went wide. Wide. So now we've got Stroll in the other Hass. It's a weird Stroll in the Hass. What kind of helmet does he get? Yeah, he's got. Default helmets aren't that bad actually. But still, you want the actual driver helmets. This is pretty much it, isn't it? Game over. Game over. Okay. Hamilton has dropped behind Perez. We missed that, sorry. That's not good, because these guys, the Red Bulls were on um, hard tyres. Oh. Hamilton's back in it again. Let's see. Is Perez still bugged? Yeah, still bugged. Sounds like Perez is stuck in gear, but he's not. <laughs> That's a shame. That's a real shame. I mean, David is looking good for tyres, fuel, and D ERS. But like I could do. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Even if I brought him in, put him on soft tyres at the end of the race, push him hard on everything, he wouldn't get the fastest lap. Even by some miracle, he did get the fastest lap, but he wouldn't get any points for it because he's out of the top ten. Oh, yeah, 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 what can you do? Mick is 5.3 seconds behind Magnus and now. Game over. We're just watching Max have fun. Oh shit, still pushing fuel. Damn it. Sorry. And we need some lift and go. We want to finish the race. We want to finish the race. <laughs> I think Mick's got a pit, pit again, isn't he? Sneak some tyres from David Schumacher side of the garage into Mick's side. <laughs> uh, you can't do that in real life because all barcoded, isn't it? What the hell's Gasly got? Hang on. Gasly is head of Leclerc. Hamilton has just got ahead of Max. So, well, great direction there for me. Wow. Okay, Hamilton's ahead. Where the hell did Gasly come from? The club's back ahead of him. The club was flying over. These guys are caught up. Now, 
Can Hamilton hang on to the lead? He's pushing hard. I think Verstappen and Perez are going to have fresher tyres at the end of the race, and I think Hamilton's going to be in trouble. Hamilton needs to get ahead of these guys, it's not going to happen for him. I think Hamilton's on for third place. If I'm reading it tactically correct. What are we on lap 32? He's on medium tyres and Red Bull's on hard tyres. Red Bull's will go longer. Uh, much fresher tyres at the end. For this to work for Hamilton, Hamilton needs to be pushing on. Hamilton needs to be several seconds ahead of these guys and it might work for them. Maxi boy. Definitely not going to work now, is it? Yeah. Tire wise, David's doing alright. He's 84% on tyres and it's lap 33 on hard tyres. Mick is 60% on his hard tyres. So fair enough. He did pit a lot earlier. Mick's going to have to come in again. Might have to do a bit of fuel saving at some point. Maybe. Wow. Wow. Oh, what have you done? What have you done? Keep going. These guys are still with fighting. An overtake there. Let's have a look. Now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. He's <laughs> got Lance Stroll in a bloody ass. And they clear it. Big move for them, and a race position gained. And the team had such high hopes today. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. We did not have high hopes at all. Okay, what's this situation? Mick is two seconds ahead of Ricardo. I don't think I should start saving fuel just yet. Mick is borderline now. Hopefully he's going to start saving fuel in a DOS zone behind stroll if he hangs on to DOS. David might actually end up being dead last, no matter what we do. Maybe, I don't know. The fact that the Red Bulls are fighting with Hamilton and they're on hard tyres Hamilton must know that this is not good. He must know that come the end of the race, it's going to be painful for him. Unless he crashes into them, of course, and takes them both out of the race. They've almost got a pit stop over Leclerc. They, they are in the, that window. I think they can pit and come out in front of Leclerc. What the hell is Russell doing down in seventh place? Russell is 24 seconds, 24 and a half seconds behind. Oh, he's just lost 24.8 seconds, 25. What the hell's going on? Dude, you suck. You absolutely suck. I wonder if Russell could get fired. Maybe. Mixed fuel is now okay. He's right on the borderline, but I think he'd be alright for the end of the race, so we won't mess around with that anymore. Hamilton's just gone onto the main straight. David's just left the main straight. He might get lapped. Depending on when Hamilton pits. They're still fighting. They're still fighting. Oh, we're gaining a position back from Stroll. Okay. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. I think that's DOS pass, I'm assuming. Right, watch this. There's yeah. Schumacher. Okay. 
Well done. And there they go. Moving up. There they go. I think Stroll will probably get him. Might get him back. Hopefully not. Well, hopefully the uh, drivers are going to get lots of experience on this and they can start growing as drivers and get faster and faster and faster. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, considering you've gone wide a couple of times and lost God knows how much time. Ferrari, advance the race position. It's got snow as well. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Snyder's quite high up, actually. He, yeah. I think Snyder was... There they go. Moving ahead of the other driver. Snyder's punching above his weight in that car, I think. The driver's team there cheering them on. Bless. <laughs> okay. Actually, he's now 20 seconds, 20 and a half, 20 and a half seconds be, behind these guys. I think David can go to the end easy. Yeah. We go to the pit game for Mick. But we do not have fresh tyres. It's going to be a scrub set. We're not going to pick up any points today. As Max goes past Hamilton once again. But back to the good old days, isn't it? Max and Lewis fighting it out on track, smashing into each other. Wow. Lewis came back. Nicely done. Laps 36 out of 57. Ticking by, ticking by. Schumacher is good on fuel. He doesn't have a heavy foot, that's good. David's good on fuel as well. We know David is hard on his tyres from what I saw during free practice. But he's making it work, so that's good. That's good. Considering where they are, they're doing alright in their careers. I mean, Mick Schumacher. And, uh, Sort of lost the position to stroll again. <laughs> Mick would be very, very lucky in real life to get a Ferrari drive. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> it's just like they're going to go back and forth for quite some time. David Schumacher is out of DRS range of Sonoda. Just not anymore. No. Briefly, it was. Celebi. What else is going on down the track? Gasly is holding not many people up actually. It, it's Russell down here. Look at this guy. He's got Ocon right on his tail. Ocon's looking good for an overtake if he can get it off the corner. Russell doesn't have DRS and anybody in front of him, so yeah, he's going to be vulnerable. He is having a bad race. Wow. Wow. Eighth place in a Mercedes. That's painful. The clerk is still... So you are doing a good job? Yeah, you're doing fantastic, my son. You're doing fantastic. Love it. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Let's Wait. take a look at the replay. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. We got uh, McLaren right behind us. And they get past. Which Genius. Okay, that's Ricardo behind Stroll. He's fast. This is a situation. I don't think the driver has the pace to hold him, hold off Ricardo, but the car does. This is a race. I'm pretty sure this is a race-winning car, Bill. 
It's a nice car we've got. Looking at the stats. It's vulnerable to braking and engine cooling. We need to fix that, but that's not our main problem at the moment. It's not too bad. But it is fast and straight line. And it's a beautiful looking car we've got. We just need, a, we just need some beautiful looking drivers. Okay. Verstappen has got ahead of Hamilton again. Advance the race position. It's a shame. The mix made a couple of mistakes. I think he would have been on for a couple of points, maybe. Maybe. But hopefully he's going to get lots of experience from this. David is two and a half seconds ahead of Sonoda. Sonoda is having such a nightmare. David's looking good for the end of the race. Is it, is it worth me pushing the fuel on David? I mean, he's not going to get anywhere. He's 12 and a half seconds behind Joe. If I push him, he might make a mistake. He probably will make a mistake. So we just leave him out there to get experience. He hasn't made that many. I don't, has David made any mistakes so far in this race? I don't think he has, has he? We're wrapping men cotton wool as Mick is fighting off Stroll. Yeah. We'll leave David Schumacher to grow. Gasly and Sainz are in the pits. Interesting. Have they done their pit stops? No, they haven't done their pit stops. Are we going to get ahead of these guys? It's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. This is going to be close. This is going to be very close. There they are. Not close enough. Ooh. Ooh, we might be able to get the OS off Carlos. Nice. Has this fuel gauge has gone red? This is different from last season. There's been some upgrades gone in. Uh, yeah, updates gone into the game. Yeah. I think it's just telling us the fuel's going down to the end of the race. I think we're okay because this is the same plus 07. We should be alright. Uh, we haven't got Carlos. Carlos pushed on pretty fast, didn't he? Jesus. Oh. What's Max doing? Max is still leading the race. Lose wild his time. Bottas is holding up. Lando Norris. Where's Russell? It's Russell's in fifth place because everybody's pitted. I'm assuming Lewis is going to have to be. Lewis is going to be thinking about pitting soon. So are we actually. We're getting close. Continue. Keep going. Yeah, we lost to Stroll again. How annoying. It's a new race position for Haas. Yes, it is. Okay. I 
gonna push stroll, uh, push Mick as far as I can on these tyres. Lewis is going for it. I'm never gonna get fired off this race. Sure, I will. You are doing a good job. He's got his position back in. I think. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Around about mid season is when I could well be fired if things keep going like the way they're doing. Magnussen's in pits. Kevin. What's he going on to? He's gone for mediums. I'm assuming he's going to go on to softs. Yeah. Probably will be soft, so I'm assuming. Ricardo's in, Albon's. Alonso's in, so. Yeah, soft. Alonso's gone to soft. Everybody's gonna go on to soft, aren't they? David up to 18th place. Right. Oh, Hamilton and Verstappen are in. It's a pit stop race. Ooh, Hamilton's got him. <laughs> nice. So I missed all that. We don't get to see the timing screens for the uh, other teams, do we? Oh. Sector 2 yellow flag. Is that one of the Aston Martins? I think that's an Aston Martin. Oh, might have spun. Been. Oh, it was Albon. Let's see what happened there. So this was the Aston Martin. Albon in a Aston Martin. Weird. Look at that. They spun their car. I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose. Okay, Perez, I'm assuming, is going to be pitting. Is he still bugged? He's <laughs> still bugged. Okay, we are in 12th position, still fighting. Ferrari, sector 2 yellow. Advance the race position. That's not what we want. We want to see Sector 2 yellow flag. Alonso. It's the Aston now Martins are really struggling, aren't they? I think it must be the car design. Wide, and there we can see them slide off. Not that bad. Okay. Perez, I'm assuming, is going to be in this lap. And I'm assuming he's going to come out behind Hamilton. Wait a minute. Hamilton came in at the same time as Max, even though Hamilton's on soft or mediums. Red Bull have made a tactical mistake. They're going on to softs as well. Here comes Hamilton. Now they're both on softs. They made a mistake. Red Bull should have stayed out. Perez is quite far back. should have stayed out they had the tires to go long now this is just down to drivers everybody else is pitting doesn't really affect us apart from vessels in strolls in as well lots of people in the pits that bumps us up to nine eight Russell's behind us. <laughs> Genius. Oh man, we're ahead of Russell. We would not have seen that coming. Can we go to the end of the race? Not a chance in hell. Yeah. That didn't last long. Okay. 
That one's in the pits. Wow. Yeah, wow, well, that's... It's Dece a race position gained for Mercedes. Okay. David leapfrogged our uh, album into 17th place. Nice. And he's still looking... Forty-four hours, fifty-seven. Can he go to the end of the race? I don't think he can. These tyres. Let's see. Let's see. He's going to lose a position to Albon. Albon's on the soft tyres. Somebody locked up sector two. It's Vettel. Was that a lock up on the track? Yeah. Let's take a closer look. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. That lock up could have cost them dearly. Yeah, Sandy in Bahrain, isn't it? The team are Funny devastated. Huh? They'll be yeah, of course they are. Where's Vettel? 14th at the moment. Mick is in ninth place, but he needs to pit at some point. We're getting chased down by Magnuson on a soft, Jesus. Ah. That's mixed mistakes putting me in, in this position. For Stappen and Hamilton still going hammer and tongs. I can't believe Red Bull made such a tactical mistake. They won the hard tyres. What are they doing? Maybe they're just burning up the tires a lot faster. Yeah. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Yeah, Albon's on the soft tire, so that's that's a given. If we do have to bring in David, we might, we, could, we could push fuel and everything. He still might make it. Pass with an overtake there. Ugh. Let's have a look. All really? eyes on Kevin Magnussen here. Yeah, fresh new soft tyres against old hard tyres. There's only going to be one winner. Me. There they go. Bye bye. Maybe the Red Bull were burning up the tyres a lot more. Then we realised maybe they. If that's the case, and Lewis can win this race, if the if the Mercedes is light on its tyres, then Lewis could be on for a win. If he can break the DRS from Max, that's the question. Uh, Mickey Boy is pushing his pit stop limits. Is 44 seconds. Oh god, Mick's looking at 17th place, isn't he? Sorry, sorry, but it's over. How are we doing? Okay, let's bring him in. What's the best tyres we got? 87% of these six. Keep going on to these tyres. And get in the pits. And box now, box, please confirm. Box. <laughs> it's all good experience for them. Mix a nice kid. Mick Schumacher is he's got such a name to live up to I mean his father's shadow is just so massive how can you even live up to that I think I think that's what cost him his seat at Haas maybe I think the pressure of being a Schumacher got to him 
Maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm reading too much into it. Not, I don't know the guy. He's a nice guy. Hopefully, as a reserve driver for Mercedes, he can get his confidence back. Maybe do same for the future. We'll see, maybe. I'm not going to give up on our Schumacher's. We'll give them as much experience as we can before we get fired. <laughs> I'll be fired before they will be, that's for sure. Sector 3 yellow flag. Can't see anything. We've just had a car run wide. Oh, sure. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams ah. here. Goodness me, they're completely off the racing line. Nobody is bothering us at the moment. We are gaining on Alonso, but 10 laps to go, not good. Joe is gonna take David, fair enough. David's trying to go to the end of the race. Is it worth putting David under this much pressure? He's not going to get anything, so we might most we could just I guess bring him in for fresh set of softs, push the car a bit. Yeah, I think that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's bring him in. Square. So we've got fresh set of softs here. Nice fresh set of softs. And here come my son. Six one four in my box. We might be able to... We'll be up there with Sonoda. Be right level with Sonoda. Stefan and Hamilton are still going ham and tongs. Max is... in the lead at the moment, but not by much. They're going to be trading places. Mick is gaining on Alonso, but not by anything significant. Come on, David. Bless your little cotton socks, eh, Sonny? He's so lucky to get a Ferrari drive. This is going to be close as Sonoda. In fact, we've got some tricks up our sleeves. Not as close as I was hoping. Okay, how are we doing tire-wise? Let's push everything. Go, 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 gadget legs. Don't crash it, boy. Here we go, let's see what we can do. What can you do in that Ferrari? 1.8 seconds behind. 1.7, 1.6. You are driving a race-winning car, I'm damn sure of that. Come on, Sonny. You can at least get me a Williams. 1.3. Nice. I think he might be lapped down. Yeah, I think I think we're lapped down. In DRS zone already. Yeah, we're one lap down. We got lapped. Come on, don't you stack it. Don't you crash that thing. That's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful Ferrari. Don't you go crashing it now. Mick's got some spare fuel, but he's 7.7 .7 seconds behind Alonso now. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll push the fuel for. No lift off needed. You are doing go. a good job. Come on, come on. Do a nice overtake for us. Okay. Yeah, that boy. That boy. That boy. Yeah. That give him some confidence. Keep pushing, get out of DOS range. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. That's a beautiful looking car, isn't it? Ferrari's always a beautiful looking car. 
Well, there, was, there was a couple of seasons where they were not so beautiful, but yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful Ferrari. Okay, out of DOS range at the moment. We're going to ease off on the EOS in a second. Push the tires on Mick for a bit. And push. Copy. Is there anything where they've got messages coming up on here? It, it, it blocks out this. It's annoying. Okay, we're going to ease up on the e EOS. Two seconds ahead. You're driving well. Nice driving. I hope to see I hope to see our Schumacher boys at the end of the season. Towards the end of the season. As in I hope I don't get fired. That was a very good lap. He's got the fastest lap. <laughs> I told you. I told you I beat I built a nice car. That is a race winning car I built. Okay. He's up on mixed fuel. And we'll need to uh, lift off. Okay. So the fact that David got the fastest lap shows you that it is a decent car, considering the driver is driving it. He's only rated 49, and um, like people like Max and Hamilton are rated, rated about 80 or 90. <laughs> so, geez. how's his tyres doing? I think the tyres are rocking to the end of the race. Ooh, that's a big drop here. Okay. Yeah, David is heavy on his tyres, isn't he? Okay, what's our situation? 2.7. Okay, that's ease up on the tyres. Slow yeah. down. I need to teach him to smooth driving. He needs to be your smooth operator. Is Mick is five points. He's under five seconds to Alonso now. Hamilton is going for the lead. And he's got it. Nicely done. Can he hold it? Uh, maybe. Sunday round wide sector two. Who is that? Is that McLaren? Had a car run wide. Oh, stroll. Let's see what happened there. Stroll's gone now, for a stroll. Just focus oh. on the Haas. They're forced wide, and they won't be happy at all about that. They blocked. Alonso. Okay. Three point seven to three point two to Alonso. Mick is shifting on. Those soft tires are doing very nicely, aren't they? Hamilton tries to hold on. Is Max far enough? No, Max is going for it. I don't think Mick has enough time to get 15th place. <laughs> I don't think we care. <laughs> Just like 15th or 16th place. Perez is out of the running, I think. See, his car it sounds okay here, but here. Oh, they fixed it. The bug's gone. Okay. His car sounds good now. As Hamilton fights with Max. There he is. Hello, Max. Mick is 1.7 to Alonso, 1.6 to Alonso. We're going to switch to him in a second. David Schumacher's still got the fastest lap. I can't believe that. 
That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Wait. He is chasing him down. How are we doing, tire wires? He's in DRS range. We're going to have to ease off on the tires in a second. Come on. Come on, my son. See what you can do. That's a bloody nice car you're driving. But you are you are up against a two times world champion, so. Come on. Fifty two laps out fifty seven. And he's got it. Yes, he's got it. Okay, we ease up on the fuel for David. How's the tires? Big lift off. We might have pushed the tires a bit too much. We should slow down. Borderline, we're borderline. I don't think we can hold off Alonso. I don't think we had enough tires to get onto the back of Stroll. Although, it's Hamilton and Max are fighting out. We are. Kind of gaining on strong. 1.6. We are slightly mm, kind of. We are sh yeah, kind of gaining. In, gaining. Got a little bit of fuel. Can I just 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 just, 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 a, just a little bit, just a little bit of fuel. Just for a couple of laps, just to get on the back of. And five laps to go. Stroll. We can get DOS. We can hang on to the back of the stroll. That would protect us from Alonso. Yeah, we are getting borderline on fuel. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, my son. You're almost there. Give me that DOS. You don't have much fuel left. Yeah, let's push. So deployed, deployed. We haven't got Copy. much. Okay, he's there. Where are we on track? Come up to the DRS zone. That do. And we need some lift and coast for tire attempts. Copy. We are where we are. As in, I don't think we can push on from here, and I don't think we can advance the race position. defend from Stroll. The yellow flag sector three has some McLaren off. We've just had a spin. Yeah. We can take a look now. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! The car's just gone. Bye bye. Okay, where is he? He's quite not that far up the road. We're not going to get him. Four laps now. Verstappen is. He's trying to get away from Hamilton, but I don't think he can do it. I'm pretty sure David Schumacher is going to get the fastest lap. I don't think anybody else has got the tyres to match that. Shame he doesn't get any points for it. Damn shame. Kid did good though. Getting the fastest lap, that's gonna give him some confidence. Sector three, yellow flag, can't see anything on the map. Hampton's going for it, my son. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Here's the replay. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh dear, dear, dear. That's far wide. Yeah, nothing happened. I think tyres are okay. Mixed tyres are going to be borderline. Celebi, it is what it is. I think 
David is still pulling away from Yuki Tsunoda and the Williams. Uh, Yuki is seriously struggling. Poor kid. Actually, no, it's, it's balanced. Who's going to win this race? I think. I think it's going to be down to who passes who down the DOS straight. That 55 at 57. I think it's just going to be a case of who gets a DOS at the right point at the right time. It's going to be a flip of the coin. Flip of a coin, isn't it? As Russell is seventh place, six, uh, 3.1 seconds off Gasly. Jesus. He should be fired for that. Unless he has some kind of car trouble, but that's the thing you don't know. You don't, don't you don't hear any reports from the garage to say, hey, there's trouble with this car or that. Mm. Two laps to go. It's going to be a flip of a coin. <laughs> Max is going for it again. And got the lead again. The clerk is in fourth place, 32 and a half seconds down. Ow. On Perez. Perez is 2.2 seconds off Hamilton. I'm hoping Mick can hold on to the 14th place. And two laps to go. Tragic, isn't it? <laughs> Tragic. I don't think I can get fired after one race like this. Considering we won the championships last season. That should give us enough credit with the Ferrari board to actually say, hey, we give you a little bit more lee room, more lee room than normal. Last lap for Stappen. I thought he got the fuss in that for a minute. Man, this is going to go right down to it. If a Stappen gets Hamilton here, he's going to lose the race, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think Ham if Max gets Hamilton in the ne next DRS zone, that might win him the race. Has he timed it perfectly? Where is he? Okay. DRS zone's coming up now. If he gets Hamilton here, it's all over. Max is going to win. I think Lewis is going to win the race, race now. I think that was it. Last lap, last lap. I don't think Max can do anything now. Is the is DRS down here? I think there... No, there isn't, is there? Hamilton's gone defensive. I think Hamilton knows he's won the race. There is a DOS line here, but I don't think it's going to be enough for Max. Hamilton won. <laughs> There's my boy. Someone spun or did something. Oh, and it's Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton with the win today. Let's have a look. There you it's go. It's a win for Lewis Hamilton. And it's thoroughly deserved. A hugely talented driver and undoubtedly a worthy winner. Nice to see Lewis winning. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be very tempted to hire him. The clerk is going to come in fourth. Uh, 
David Schumacher has gone across the line because he's been lapped, so he got 19th place and fastest lap, so Yay. he did all right, considering. Okay, everybody's coming home. Russell is in seventh place. That is awful. Where's Mick? Mick's all right. I think Mick's gonna be safe from Scroll. Ricardo and Norris outside the points, just what I've got the last point. It's 10th place for last point, isn't it? I think it's. Was it 8th? See now. And check it, flag. And the two. Oh. Yeah, you did make quite a few mistakes in there, didn't you? We weren't expecting you, to, expecting you to win the race. Alonso and Abon, 16th and 17th, they had a bad race, they did. Do we get to see the podium? With a decent enough race here today. Yeah. Cool. Ferrari must have some mixed feelings after this. They didn't do too badly, but they can definitely do better. There's no rest for F1 teams. Let's hope their hard work can get them closer to exceeding expectations in the next race. And as this race weekend comes to a close, the team is eighth in the constructor standings. The teams yeah. now look ahead to the Great. next round, where they'll duel it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia next. Oh, no rain, probably. Oh, we didn't get to see the podium. Ah, oh, really? David Schumacher fastest lap. <laughs> Genius. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I still get the last point. Oh, wow. He got the fastest lap of the race. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we got fired or not. We got nothing out of that. Did we get fired? They got lo loads of experience. Nice. Okay, I think the experience gain, uh, our simulator is maxed out. I'll check that. We got sponsors. The sponsors paid out. Oh yeah, we got faster that. That was the sponsorship objective. Wow. And we managed to reach Q2 qualifying. Bit of a low bar, but fair enough. That could be a tactic for the next race. Try and do the same game with David, maybe just go and get the fastest lap. We'll see how it goes. It's only 122 grand, not much, is it? Okay, now, did we get fired? Fingers crossed. Okay. We gave him a new boardroom, they should be happy with that. We designed something, okay. Start building a new underfloor is coming. Okay, he gets a plus one points. Okay, did we get fired? Did we get fired? Did we get fired? Difficult race. Okay, we're disappointed. Okay, I lost a little bit of confidence, but we didn't get fired. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, next race out. See if there's going to be any improvements. I don't think. David got any experience development point. Mick got one, so. Okay, so. Next race is going to be a more difficult race in Saudi Arabia. Australia, we might be able to do something if it rains or something. Imola in Italy is going to be embarrassing if we're going to. I think we might get fired before Monaco. <laughs> okay, till next time. Adieu. Adieu. Adios.